even the king isn't ready for. Anatar's manipulation in Eregion. Now, let's hop over to Eregion. Ah, Celebrimbor. This poor guy just can't catch a break, can he? After the success of the Dwarven Rings, we find him in a rather celebratory mood. The Dwarves and Elves seem united in their achievement, and they unveil the Doors of Durin, an iconic moment for any Lord of the Rings fan. But while everyone else is toasting to friendship, guess who's sulking on the balcony? That's right, Anatar, aka Sauron, in disguise. Here's where things get really interesting. Anatar starts to weave his silver-tongued magic on Celebrimbor again, but this time his target is… men. He's planting the seeds for the Nine Rings. Yes, those Nine Rings that will eventually corrupt the Kings of Men and turn them into the Nazgul. Now Celebrimbor isn't an idiot. He can sense that something's up, and he calls out Anatar's manipulative tactics. But, as we've seen before, Anatar's way of speaking is so cunning that even when he's telling the truth, there's always an undercurrent of something sinister. Anatar argues that Numenor is unstable, and the only way to bring balance is by giving rings to men. Hand-picked kings, noble and pure of heart, he says. But if there's one thing we know about Tolkien's world, it's that power corrupts, especially in the hands of men. Celebrimbor resists the temptation, for now. But Anatar's influence is spreading like wildfire, and we can already see the cracks forming.